Welcome to a brand new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, we're going to design an ATM Python program. Now, it's very simple. It's not complicated. This is meant to be a very beginner tutorial, so I didn't really focus much about all the other if and while statements. It will be very simple, and I'm sure you'll learn a lot from it. So the first thing we want to do is actually greet, um, say hello or welcome to the user. So I'm going to say welcome to Maze Bank. That's the name of our bank. After that, I will simply create a variable called trials and I will set that as 3 and I'll set the user pin to 1, 2, 3, 4 and let's just give it equal spacing. So the number of trials is the number of times the user can insert a wrong pin and the correct pin in this scenario here is 1, 2, 3, 4. So if a user inserts 1, 2, 5, 5, 3 times then this whole system should work so let's go ahead and actually create that system so we're gonna start with a simple while loop and I'll say while trials are not equal to zero so as long as the user still has more than zero tries left so as long as they tried it once twice and third time this needs to continue so I'm going to say while trials are equal to uh, sorry are, are not equal to zero what we need to do is ask for the pin so we're going to say int and then we're going to say input and inside of here I'm going to say please enter your four digit pin number now you might be asking why did I set up the int here now that's because when you're asking when you type in input that Sorry, when you're using input, it's actually going to store whatever you input as a string, but of course we need it to be a pin. So I said I, I, I placed it inside an integer. As you can see, I wrapped it within an integer so we can actually change that string into an integer. Let's go ahead and continue and I will say if pin is not equal to user pin. So if whatever pin the user inserts is not equal to one, two, three, four, because that's what user pin is, the first thing we want to do is actually reduce the number of trials by one. So I'm going to go ahead and say trials minus or equal to one. So that's it. The first thing we did now, let's say the user inserts the wrong pin. Instead of having three, this is now two. As you can see, you can kind of form the logic here that we are trying to reduce the number of trials to zero if the user inserts the wrong pin. After that, obviously this can't be the only thing. What we need to do, to do after is say print and we can say wrong in number you have and we're going to say trials and I'm going to say trials left and what that does is it basically allows us to tell the user how many trials they actually have so we're just printing that out after that what we need to do so now we've handled what will happen if the user insert inserts the wrong pin. Now what will happen if the user inserts the correct pin? We need to handle that. So the first thing we need to do is simply create another object and we're go going to call it user choice and we're going to say input and inside of here I will simply say the, sorry, the for deposit or w for withdraw. And basically what we're saying here is uh, to the user, insert D if you want to deposit or insert W if you would like to withdraw. After that, we're going to say if user choice is equal to D. So that means the user here wants to deposit. What we're going to say is we're going to say user deposit. So we're creating another object here and we're going to call it user deposit. And we're going to ask for input and we're going to say enter the amount you would like to deposit after that we're going to pin a very simple statement and we're going to say user deposit and we're going to say a dollar sign have been deposited into your account now what happens if the user inserts D? So if the user wants to withdraw and not deposit, we're going to say if, actually, we're going to copy this and we're going to say if user choice is equal to 
withdraw, then instead of having user deposit, we're simply going to change this to withdraw. And we're going to say enter the amount you would like to. Obviously, instead of saying deposit, with draw. So everything here makes sense. And then, of course, instead of passing user deposit, we're going to pass in user uh, withdraw. And we're going to say print user withdraw, which is the number. Dollar sign have been withdrawn from your account. What's next? So now we obviously we want the user to be able to leave the machine. He's not going to stay there forever. So what we need to say is we need to say come over here under this else statement. And all I'm going to say is I'll say user exit is equal to input. Inside of here, I'm going to say would you like to continue? And I will say y slash end. So now if the user inserts y, we will go, so it means he wants to continue. We're going to repeat this process and we're going to continue. If he says no, we're simply just going to leave the machine and we're going to end the program. So I'm going to say if user exit is equal to n, then what I would like to do is I want to print thank you for using maze bank. And we want to break out of the loop and this is as clear as it is when you type in break that means that if this condition is true we're going to break and we're going to get out of the while loop and then what happens if someone inserts continue so it's uh, sorry if someone inserts y or in fact anything other than y we're going to say else continue okay so now let's actually run this program and see if it works exactly the same way i wanted it to work so i'm going to click on run here and it says enter your four digit pin number the first thing i want to do is i will write the correct one so i'm going to say one two three four and it says deposit deposit or w for withdraw so i want to deposit i'm going to say d and it says enter the amount you'd like to deposit i will say five thousand dollars and it says five thousand dollars have been deposited into your account now let's say i would like to finish so that's it i want to deposit obviously i don't want to withdraw after i deposited i'm simply going to type in n and as you can see it says thank you for using maze bank now for all the other options that i mentioned earlier this will work exactly the same so this is your thing maybe just try go ahead and try different options insert different uh, wrong pin number type in uh, withdraw instead of deposit and so on have a good day and please remember that if you would like to contact me or inquire about any questions you can do so by following the description in uh, the instructions in the description below make sure you follow me on twitter get in contact with me uh, and ask me any question you would like thank you for watching and have a good day